Well, hi there. And today I want to read from Ezekiel chapter 10, verse 18. Then the glory of the Lord departed. It was Ezekiel's vision while he was in Babylon, Babylon in captivity. Before the final fall of Jerusalem, he saw the glory leave the temple in Jerusalem. He saw that moment just before it was destroyed in 586 BC. It is not surprising that the glory departed. What is astonishing is that it was still there after all the sin and disobedience of the nation. The same might be said of the seven churches of Asia in Revelation chapters 2 and 3. Christ was still standing in their midst, still speaking and working, despite the great immorality of some. Now, the Bible tells us not to grieve the Holy Spirit. And one of the ways in which we do this is to assume he is not active or present at all times. Not only is he active, but he burns unceasingly with the glory and holiness of God. Christians and churches are much more powerful than they ever guess, or they could ever guess. God's glory is upon us, it's on us, and we should simply rejoice, believe, and allow the glory to shine through. We may have grown dull, but he is the same. We might be quite deaf to his speaking, but he persists. Christians walk through life by faith, not by sight, nor by feeling. We are to stir up our hearts and believe in the promise of his glorious presence whenever we gather. Jacob said at Bethel, surely the Lord is in this place. And I was not aware of it. That's Genesis 28, verse 16. There will always be more of God in our lives and in our assemblies, more than we know. Dare we believe what the Bible says about us? Gideon laid out a fleece and asked for it to be wet with dew while the ground was to be dry. The next night, he asked for the fleece to be dry and the ground wet. That's in Judges chapter 6. This could have gone on for weeks, but in the end he had to rise up in the faith that God was with him as promised. The glory of the Lord is upon his church. Don't wait for a sign. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. That's from Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. God bless you.